touch me again. Just let those filthy hands of yours on me again. You dare talk to me in that tone? You dare talk to me in that tone? Who are you that you talk to me? Why do I not talk to you? Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Don't touch me! I will kill you today, okay? No! Leave me! Idiot! Idiot! Stupid man! Let those your stupid hands on me again! Foolish man! It's where I am. You have strength. It's where I am. You have strength. Idiot! Bastard! I'm going come to work. Come and beat me. I am going to come work. Come and beat me. Okay? Come and beat me. By the time I come back and you've not done what I asked you to do, <laughs> you'll see the other side of you me. You will come back and I will not do it. You will come back and beat me and I will not do that. You will not do anything. You will not do anything. You think I'm those ladies that you can intimidate? Eh? Is that what you think? You think I'm those ladies that are going to hell in their marriage and they will keep silent and die? No, it's me that will kill you. Then I will be your end. Be I my promise end. you. Then come and be my I'll end. Come and be my end. I promise you. Come and beat me, idiot. You will see your mates, oh. You will see your mates in the office, you will not be safe. Let me go back to work and come back. You've not done what I asked you to I do. I will not do it. Huh? This house will be hell for you. No problem. No problem, idiot. You are still, you are still talking. Yes, you are still, still calling me names. Huh? I'm still talking. No. I'm still talking. You'll come now. I'm still talking. I'm still talking. Is a man like you that is the general manager of your workplace. But look at you. You should be ashamed of yourself. You should be ashamed of yourself. Idiot. Go and beat your mates outside. Go and beat your mates outside. Bastard. Idiot. It's the only way I am you have strength. You just go to go work. Go to work and meet your Let mates. Let me just come back. Let me come back. You You've not done exactly play. what I asked you, you to do. Right. You will see what you I'm going to right. do. You cannot do anything. You cannot do anything, idiot. Come and touch me again. By the time I'm back and you've not done what I asked you to do, you will see the next side of me. John! John! Okay, open the gate. Eh? Oh, are you deaf? Open the gate! Okay. For morning, now so so fight. He go use blink, 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 blink. if they fight. He go wake up for night. He go blink, blink, blink. Eh? May they no use fight for this building, no. May they no use fight for anywhere. I don't go talk anything. Hi. Hunger the wire me safe. No one na their business. No concern. I go toilet. Demon is a bastard. Lola, I have told you. 
if you are not comfortable with that marriage, Lola, leave it. This is the fifth time I am telling you this. <laughs> if you are not happy in that marriage, Lola, leave the marriage alone and walk away. Lola, walk away and save yourself the embarrassment. Mommy, how can you even be saying this? How can you be saying this? You know who I am. Huh? Have you forgotten who I am? I'm a marriage counselor. I do know single ladies on relationship and marital issues. I've gone about telling people how amazing and wonderful my husband is. How can I come and start saying all of that? Please do that. What do you think people are going to say? People are going to laugh at me. People are going to mock me. Lola, are you after what the society will say? Or you wish to save your life and that of your children? Lola, I am asking you. I don't need to tell you how many women that died this year as a result of domestic violence because they refuse to leave the so-called killer marriage they are into. Lola, do you want to lose your life? Do you want to die in silence? Whoa? Lola, do you want to die because you don't want people to see that what you told them about your husband is the exact opposite of who he is? I am asking you. <laughs> Lola, you are keeping me quiet. You are not talking. It's fine. It's my husband. I will handle it. I will handle it.
Take me home. Let me be. Sit my life. Lola? Lola? What happened? Auntie. Eh? What's wrong with Lillian? Nothing is what wrong. What about her sister? Nothing. They're all fine. Are you sure? Yes. But you sounded like there was something wrong with any of them. Auntie, what did I do to you? You've not been taking my calls. Now what is it? Are you the one saying this, Lola? Are you the one saying this? Oh, you're expecting me to take your calls after all the insults your so-called husband rained on me? Auntie, please. Please, I'm sorry. I wasn't the one who rained this insult on you. Hmm? I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm tired. I'm stressed. My reputation is at stake. I just need someone. Lola! Lola, I can't believe you're still doing this. Are you not tired of this thing you call marriage? See, Daniel is... Excuse me! Excuse me! I don't want to hear that name again. Call Daniel! How many mates? How many mates have I brought into this house? Nineteen! And none of them was able to stay for at least one week. Because of the uncomfortable nature of your house! Always fighting, quarreling, and if they dare to separate both of you, your husband leaves an indelible mark on them. Tell me, who wants to stay in a toxic environment? Who? Auntie, please, just sit here. Hey, don't tell me. Please. I am leaving. I cannot sit here. Auntie, please, I beg you, please now. I'm begging you, please just sit. Let's talk about this. Please don't go. <sighs> Shift. Yeah, go to your room. Go upstairs. Okay? You just sleep us. Go just sleep us. Baby is upstairs. Just go, Mama. Okay? Don't worry. Go. I'll bring it. Okay, baby girl. I'll see you later, eh? What do you want me to do for you? Auntie, please. Please, I need a house help. I need to start work on Monday. I just need someone to look after my kids. Why Monday? Today is Tuesday, so tomorrow is supposed to be Wednesday. Why can't you go to work tomorrow? The, the bruises on my face, I need it to heal before. I go back to work. I don't want people asking me questions. Lola. Lola, how long are you going to continue like this? How long are you going to impress the whole world while you're dying in silence? Eh? My reputation is at stake here. I've worked with this company for 15 years. I'm the manager of this establishment. Like, you know, I can't go about telling people what goes on in my marriage or probably tell them that my husband hates me. It's not, it's not nice now. What, I don't want the ladies club to know about all this. Okay, look at the number of people following me on social media. A lot of people look up to me. They love my marriage. This is not something I need to bring to the public eye. Wow. Wow. This is interesting. Lola. Oh, so this is all about social media life. You want to keep impressing them, impressing the whole world and your fans while your home is breaking into pieces. Really? You want to impress your fans, your ladies' club? You don't want them to know what you're going through, right? Alright, wait until you die in the hands of that beast. By then, they will hear it loud and clear. So nobody is going to die. Please, I just need a maid. That's all I need. Let's see. 
Anyway, there's this woman that told me about her daughter. Although they are from the village, oh. No, it's okay. I actually wanted someone that is educated, but as long as the person can cook and take care of the kids, it's okay. I can manage that. You, you have to manage. You really have to manage. Anyway, I will talk to her. Whatever happens, if she agrees, I'll bring the girl. I have to leave. Thank you so much. What that your stupid husband comes here to meet me. Hey, 
Auntie Rose. Good morning. Good morning, my darling. How are you I'm today? I'm fine, thank you. And the family? You. Well, good. Um, <laughs> well, I'm here with the maid. The maid? Oh, Auntie, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you so much, I know Auntie. you'll be happy. I'm telling you, thank you for coming to my rescue job. <laughs> so, where is the maid? You didn't come with her? Uh -uh. Margretta. Good morning, man. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine. Are you welcoming us in or you want me to keep standing outside? Auntie, I told you I needed the house help. Who is she? I mean, is she supposed to take care of me or the other way around? Where have you seen a child taking care of a child? And <laughs> not talk like that too. See, I make I tell you. I get the experience for this. I know the small picking way they think oh. I get the experience for this job well, well, well. Will you shut up? Shut up, Margaret. Make I tell and unfortunately say I be that kind of small baby because of my stature. See, eh, auntie. I be kind of food. You know get anything where you want me to do, I will go do for you. I tell you. Forget that the way they talk. Oh. I feel there anything where you want me to do, I tell you. Don't they look me that way. Well. <laughs> you go like me, I tell you. You go like me. Is this some joke or something? I mean, is this even happening? Okay, no, I make a show. I get experience for this job. Make I show you. You want make I show you my my CV? <laughs> I show you my CV. This is not my CV. Now me and my friend. Go borrow paper and buy a make write this thing. You might say, 10 years. 10 years experience. You can like them. Uh uh. Margretta. Uh -huh. 10 years. You. You never even come out of location that time. Before you even come, say, I don't do this work for 10 years. I don't do it for three different people. Hold on. Are you trying to convince me that in this you resume, you have 10 years experience? I'm not going to come with my resume. Now, CV, I can't. Yes, I mean your CV. Okay. My mind don't fly you. I just say they ask me for another two years, so not ten years. Make a show you. Maybe it's too sad in life. Let me see it. Thank you, ma. Thank you. Is this the CV? Mm. Ten years. Please, sir, ma, this is a letter application for house help. <laughs> it is unfortunate to work for you as a house help. Did you write it's unfortunate to work for me as a house help? Hey! Very unfortunate, ma. Very unfortunate. I'm telling you. Very unfortunate. Margreta. Hmm? Margreta! Do you know the meaning of unfortunate? Eh? Are you alright, this girl? She get money now. Me, uh, you know, say unfortunate now. People will get money. People will get vision. Will you shut up? So, you know, say a smart girl, what I do? You get one brush for that our area. Can't tell your wife, say she do unfortunate. Now, in here, I can't grab them. I grab them, tell my friend, make you help me spell them. I write them for that place because this is how she gave money. So, it's very, very unfortunate. Can you imagine? You don't even know the meaning of unfortunate. Just because you heard someone somewhere say unfortunate, you now went ahead and put it in your letter. Are you alright? <sighs> Auntie, you know what? Hey, I, I can't do this. I mean, the girl is not even learned. You want her to influence my kids with her dumbness? Okay, auntie, you know what to go happen. If not the unfortunate, there's no problem. Or you come out unfortunate. Just come out and for the book. Then carry my 10 years experience. See, auntie? See, apart from this uh, unfortunate thing, eh, you don't know me. I feel cook. When I talk to the cook, I ah, they cook, cook, scatter. 
You know what you be cook scatter? When I cook for you, no go remember yourself again. I the sweep, I the wash clothes. I, you no get anything when me I no feed you. I'm telling you. Margreta, Margreta, mm -hmm. sit down. Sit down, sit inside. Oh, no, relax. Sit well. I'm going to relax. Oh, relax. Okay. Auntie, please, I need to talk to you. Uh, uh, same here. I'm coming. Make sure you're sitting down there. I see you. I see you where I write. <sighs> you can even start to clean this place before you go. Come on. Wait! See, your baby is just four. At least this girl can take care of her. Beat her, wash her clothes, and even iron them. She can also make food for them. Are you hearing me? At least, let's give her a chance to exhibit some of the things she has told that us. girl is too small. I'm going to be the one taking care of her instead of her taking care of my kids. And that is why I suggest that you give her a benefit of the doubt. Remember, I told you I wasn't going to help you out again. Because I have brought over 19 mates to this house and none of them could stay. Let's see whether this one can even stay for you. <laughs> this one will not even last a day. And why did you say that? Are you planning on sending her away? Look, I am telling you. Keep her. Manage her. While I be on the lookout for another one that can come and support her to make the work fast. At least you have someone now to leave your children with while you go for your work and your so-called ladies club meeting. Um, it's okay, I'll just... I'll keep right. But then, come, when my husband comes back and sees this girl, what is he going to say? Your husband, you say? Like he cares? Has he ever cared? Look, Lolade. If you are not ready to take this girl, let me know now. Let me take her back to where it's she It's fine. From. It's fine. She can stay. I'll keep her. It's not like I even have a choice here. That's I need English. to start working on Monday, so I'll manage whatever I get. That's the English. You don't have a choice. And besides, you should even be thanking God that I'm in my shop is close by. You can always breeze in. So you have to see how things are going. No? It's okay. Mm? Mm? Lolly baby. Come, come, come. Let's go. Margreta, what do you think you're doing? I they clean all this place. Work does that too. You know, say, <laughs> this place dead dusty. I say, make I just start with this one. Even this television now, nah, as I they say, I'm dead dirty for my eyes. This whole thing now will just come out and go hey, down. No, don't touch anything here, okay? Uh, okay. Let me say, you like that. Hmm? Margreta, you have to be careful. You should learn to take things easy. Okay, Are you hearing me? Yes. Anyway, your auntie has accepted that you stay. Hmm? So please, listen to me. Listen to me. I want you to behave yourself and work very hard. I don't want to hear any complaint. Are you hearing me? Complain? She don't go complain now. Nah. She go like me where well, they tell you. I don't want any complaint. Do you understand me? She go like me. Understand? Yes, I understand. Um, Lola, you can show her to her to your room, eh? Don't worry, but I will make you proud. I will make you proud. I have to be on my way. Let me I will call you. Lola, I'll call you. All right. Send me well to your husband, eh? Hey! 
Hey, don't touch that, okay? Okay. My room. Oh, okay, my room. Uh, uh, Auntie, that one they did for this table. Auntie Rose brought a new maid today. Really? Yes. That's your business. You've always been lazy, so... You don't take responsibility as a mother or as a wife. I'm not surprised. After all, I've lost count of how many maids you've brought in the last one year. So again, it's no longer news to me that you're bringing another one. Just make sure that this so-called maid can take care of my kids. Because if I hear or see nonsense, you hate me. Honey, why are you sounding like this? This maid just arrived. I don't want us to start having issues. Oh, sure. We won't have issues. We won't have issues. Okay. Uh, who are you? Um, what the hell are you doing here? I, I do not come ask Madame something. I can't hear on her voice. I say maybe when I want to fight, make her just stay there. If when I finish the fight, I go come in. I make her stay there. Lola, who is this? What is this thing doing here? Daniel, she's not a thing. That's our new house help. Hmm? <laughs> it's a, this is so funny. I mean, it's hilarious. This is the funniest thing you've said ever since I met you. This is our new house help. Yes, sir. So I swear, it's very unfortunate to work with you. <laughs> Lola, did you hear that? <laughs> Very unfortunate to be working with. <laughs> you brought this thing. To Can this thing take care of herself, let alone my kids? No, sir. So my name no be Tim. I be Margareta. Can you be quiet? Lola, what is the meaning of this insult? You brought this little rat to come and take care of my kids? Huh? Listen to me very carefully. You better take her back to whatever black hole or dump that you brought her from. So I can skip another one week from work? Is that what you're trying to say? It won't happen. She's here to assist me and not you. So she's staying. Okay. Okay. Fine. No problem. Then she will assist you and just you. I don't want to see her an inch close to any of my kids. Okay. okay? Shh. And let me warn you, I don't want to see her close to my kids, especially when you're not around. Ogasa, I beg, they calm down. No. I know say you the vex. See, me can tell you, person where you the see, no be ordinary person. No. I be matching. If you want to test me, bring all your clothes. I've washed them all, even your boxers. I feel cook, I feel wash clothes, I feel anything where you want me to. I, I go do them. Finish work now. Nah. You don't know me. <laughs> Girl, Lola, you need me to you need me to wash my breasts. I'm telling you. <laughs> Lola, you see the mad person you brought into my home? Eh? Eh? I can't talk to her. Are you? Obviously, two of you. 
You are mad. You are mad. You are crazy. I am. I'm done having this conversation. Wake me up, look at the time. Oh, I didn't see the need for that, considering there will be no one to take care of the kids if you both leave the house. You're a devil. Let me be. Where is this girl? Margareta! I'm dying in silence. The beast in here. Margareta! Let me be. Save my life. What are you doing? I'm doing a Lily. Okay, all right, continue. Let me quickly dress up. Hello, Fred. Morning. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks for reminding me, yeah. Yes, I will design the template and send it to you. Of course, after, I'll, I'll, I'll sign the contract after. Mm -hmm. I should be in the office in... Another hour ish. Okay. I'll send it to you, Mill. No worries. Thank you. My laptop, my laptop, my laptop. Silence, the beast in 